there's nothing that gets me going as much as boxing or getting in the ring and getting punched and punching. There's something so special about that. I don't think that part of me is ever going to die. Right hand, the counter shot knocks. It's him down for the second time in his career. We're trying to better myself in the ring, and I think it will be the best version of myself, and I'm excited to see that for myself, too. Sergey Lipinets wants to prove that he is an elite player in town. My mind is the best thing that I have about me, so now that I have it under control, I'm good. I'm ready. Stares at a right hand by Lipinets, and a fierce exchange in the center of the ring. Still expect the crazy Omar in there. Still expect for me to go in there and try to hurt somebody. It is over. We're going to get the best version of myself, and I feel like the best version of myself is going to be really, really hard to beat. There's nothing that gets me going as much as. Welcome to Hollywood, Florida. I'm Brian Custer, the host of uh, Showtime Championship Boxing. This is the final press conference for Figueroa versus Lipinets. You know, this Saturday, Showtime Championship Boxing, we make our first return here to the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. First return in 14 years. That's how long it's been since we've been at this venue. It'll be our third show though here at this venue and what a night of boxing we have for you because we've got really a quadruple header of fights four fights two world title fights on the card and then in the main event it features two former world champions fighting in a weight limit where they once thrived looking to reclaim glory Omar Figueroa Jr. Former lightweight champion, been away for 15 months, but he's back. You know, he was scheduled to fight Adrian Broner. Those two had a long history. It was a fight that was supposed to happen four years ago. Broner unfortunately pulled out of the fight this week, but in steps the samurai, Sergei Lipinets, a man who never says no to a challenge and a man who was a world champion at 140 pounds. These two will fight it out in the main event. We also have two world title fights on the card as well. The co-main, the WBA 140 pound title is up for grab. Of course, it was the title that has been vacated by Josh Taylor, but Two men looking to become world champions will fight it out. Alberto Puello from the Dominican will take on Batir Akhmedov. This will be an all action co-main event and one that you don't want to miss as these two fight to become a world champion. Before that fight, another world title fight. And this one at 130 pounds, the champion. Roger Gutierrez defending his title for the second time. This time he's going to be taking on another pugilistic fighter from the Dominican, the unbeaten Hector Garcia, who we, of course, know what he did earlier this year when he knocked off Chris Colbert in one of the bigger upsets of the year. And then we'll begin the night with one of the most promising power punching, exciting fighters in the sport. Brandon Lee, unbeaten. He's stopped just about every opponent he's had except for three. He will step into the ring against the just once beaten Will Madera. That is our entire lineup. It comes your way on Showtime Championship Boxing at 8 o'clock Eastern. That is 5 o'clock Pacific time. You do not want to miss it. Of course, all of these fights are being promoted by TGB Promotions and brought to you by Premier Boxing Champions. I'm going to talk to each one of these fighters about this fight, and let's dive deep, and let's start here with the first fight of the night. We'll start with Brandon Lee. 25-0. He's got 22 knockouts. Kid had, if you look at his record, he's had 12 knockdowns in his last 10 fights. Uh, Brandon, take it on Will Madera. 
Tough test. Your last fight, you not only went the distance for the first time in four years, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it was also the first time in your career you've gone past seven rounds. Biggest lesson you learned from that fight that maybe you can carry into this fight against Will Madera? Um, you know, I learned that I could go a full 10 rounds strong. And, um, you know, I feel like I never really deteriorated throughout the fight. And uh, that was really one of the things I questioned, to see if I could still be strong from round one th through round 10. Mm. Will, you're coming off an impressive fifth round stoppage uh, in your last fight. Tell us how you plan to defeat Brandon Lee, someone that no one has been able to do so far, and there's very, only been a few guys who've gone the distance with him. Well, I plan on showing that I'm the, the veteran fighter on Saturday night. Everything else, doing in Saturday. I'll show you what I could do. Let me ask you something. I, I read on the boxing scene, Will Madera told the boxing scene, I think the, the league camp may be overlooking me. Tell us why. Why you feel that way? I feel, I feel that way because I'm, I'm, I'm coming up from lightweight. So I'm the smaller guy naturally. And most of my fights I've been overlooked. So uh, being an underdog is something I look forward to being upsetting, upsetting the opponents. That's my thing. Brandon, you overlooking your opponent? And you've, you've had this knockout streak for a while until, obviously, that last fight. People love knockouts. Will we see one Saturday night? Um, I'm not looking, in, looking over my opponent because at the end of the day, he has two hands. So you've got to respect any man that steps in the ring with two hands. But at the end of the day, he's an opponent. So I go in there, I'm going to do what I do best, is, which is, you know, give the people a knockout. So uh, today, 25-0, and 0, come Saturday night, 26-0. and 0. Will, give you last word. We're looking to steal the show. That's all I got to say. So tune in Saturday night. First bell. There you have it. Will Madera, Brandon Lee. They start the broadcast off on Showtime Championship Boxing. Uh, and then we get to our first world title fight. You've got the WBA champion, Roger Gutierrez, 26, 3, and 1. He's got 20 knockouts, so he's got dynamite in his hands, and he's taking on the hard-hitting oh, Luis Garcia, 15-0, and 0, 10 knockouts. This is going to be really good. Um, Luis, I'll start, uh, Roger, I'll start with you because, you know, you were supposed to fight Chris Colbert earlier this year, had COVID. Obviously, that set you back. You're going to be coming into this fight not having fought in over a year. So do you think any of that will affect your performance come Saturday night? Roger, te están preguntando que tú tenías que pelear con, con Chris, pero hace más de un año que no peleas y dice que si eso te va a afectar, ¿cómo peleas este, este sábado? Eh, no, primero que todo... este. Me siento muy bien preparado, muy contento, un campamento excelente que hicimos junto a mi equipo y no, nunca tomamos en cuenta eso, la verdad es que no me importa, he durado año, un año sin pelear, cuando fui a pelear el título mundial y no me afectó en nada, estamos primero que todo bien preparados y listo para el sábado. No, no, at all. I'm well prepared, I'm mentally, physically, I'm ready, and I'm ready to take this challenge. Let's go to Hector, unbeaten. Hector, you were a 50 to 1 underdog when you took on Chris Colbert, basically on a week's notice. And you did what many people didn't think you could do, and that was not only knock him down, but you beat him in that fight. You come into this fight, the underdog again. Tell us why, once again, you're going to prove why you're going to prove the odds makers wrong on Saturday. Héctor, cuando peleaste con Colbert, estaba 51 en las apuestas abajo. En esta pelea también estás abajo. ¿Qué, ¿Cómo te sientes? ¿Cuál es tu motivación para mostrarle a todos que están equivocados? 
Bueno, primero, gracias a Dios por estar aquí hoy. Eh, compañía PVC, Chontai, por, estar de, por tenerme de vuelta. Bueno, eh, eso me gusta, eso me inspira. Más confianza en mí, siempre estar abajo en la apuesta. Eso para mí es más, me da más fuerza, eh, más confianza en mí propio de ganar mi pelea. First of all, I want to thank God. I want to thank PBC, Showtime. I also, um, that doesn't matter to me. That um, motivates me to do better in the ring, to become a champion. And I want to be that, that man Saturday night. I want to win. Hector, if you're victorious, you would come just the fourth Dominican world titleist at 130 pounds. What, what does that mean to you? Number one, to be a world champion for the first time, but then to just be the fourth Dominican champion at that weight limit. Si ganas el sábado, serías el cuarto dominicano en, en ganar un título. ¿Qué se siente eso para ti? ¿Qué, sería, ¿Qué significaría eso para ti? Para mí significaría mucho para mi país, para mi provincia, San Juan de la Maguana. Eh, estoy de verdad eh, sumamente sumamente ansioso y esa ansiedad me va a ser para bien porque por primera vez en mi carrera profesional tengo la oportunidad de pelear un título mundial con una carrera invita. Well, for the first time, um, I'm challenging myself to become a world champion. It means a lot. It means everything for my country to become a world champion, even the fourth one. So, yeah, it means a lot, and I'm ready for this challenge. Mm. Roger, I was also reading uh, that Hector said after this fight that he's focused on you, but after this fight, he's got bigger fish to fry. Said he wants Tank Davis, wants Shakur Stevenson. So it appears he believes he's taking you out on Saturday. Give me your thoughts on your opponent and obviously his plans. Roger, dice que Hector está pensando en los peces grandes como Tank Davis que te está sobrepasando a ti. Este, ¿Cuál es tu predicción sobre lo que dice él? Eh, no, no, no. Eh, como todo boxeador, pues, se piensa en grande, igual, igual pienso yo, pero estoy enfocado primero en el sábado, en salir victorioso, en hacer las cosas bien, y luego junto a mi equipo, a mi promotora Golden Boy, veremos qué se viene para el futuro. No, 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 um, it doesn't matter, you know, every boxer has to, you know, have that mentality, and I'm ready, you know, with Golden Boy and with uh, Showtime, I'm ready to show that I could beat him. He doesn't have to overpass me. Mm. What do you think about him as a fighter? What was the question again? I'm sorry. What does he think about him as a fighter? ¿Qué piensas de él como peleador? No, un gran peleador, de verdad. Este, lo, lo respeto como respeto a todos los a todos los boxeadores. Este, viene muy enfocado, muy muy animado de después de, de derrotar a Chris Colbert y eso eso me alegra mucho porque va a ser una guerra el sábado lo que vamos a tener, lo que va a presenciar la gente. He says, no, I'm, I'm, I respect him as a fighter, I respect all fighters, and I know he's confident because he just beat Colbert, but I'm ready too, and I'm confident, and I'm ready. Mm. That's the first world title fight that comes your way. Then we get to the co-main. And this should be all action. Alberto Puello, unbeaten. He's 20 and 0, he's got 10 knockouts. He's taking on Batir Akhmedov, nine and one. He's got eight knockouts. You know, this one is significant, just like the world title fight before it, because it's for the vacated WBA title that Josh Taylor has given up. Alberto, I'll start with you. Uh, if you're victorious, you would be the first Dominican world champion at 140 pounds. What would that mean to you? What would that mean to the country? Alberto, si ganas este sábado, serías el primer dominicano en ser campeón en las 140 libras. ¿Qué significa esto para ti? Muy buenos días y en primer lugar, gracias a Dios por estar aquí en este momento. Luego, darle la gracia a la compañía PBC, TV y Chotay por la oportunidad. 
Eh, para mí significaría mucho obtener esta victoria, ya que me estaría siendo campeón mundial y cambiándole la vida de una forma u otra a mi familia. Uh, first of all, I want to thank God. I want to thank Showtime TGB Promotions. Uh, I want to thank everybody here in attendance. Uh, for the, to become world champion, it, it means a lot to me. Uh, it will change my, li my, my, my family's um, life forever, and it will change me also, you know, as a, as a world champion. Batir, you know, you fought for the world title before when you had to face Mario Barrios. Close fight. You came up just short. Tell us why Saturday will be different this time around. Батир, ты уже, ты уже бился за титул до этого против Бариоса. В тот раз э, был близкий бой, э, немного не хватило. Э, что изменилось, почему в этот раз ты победишь? А, добрый, добрый день всем. В первую очередь хочу поблагодарить Шоу-Тайм за предоставленную возможность завоевать титул. В прошлый раз, конечно, немножко меня обокрали, не дали осуществить свою мечту. Но в этот раз я заряжен на все 100, на все 200 процентов. Мне не важно, кто будет напротив меня, даже хоть пусть сам Кинг-Конг придет, пусть он только сделает 140 паундов, я сделаю с него э, омлет. То есть э, я заряжен, я готов, я сделаю все возможное для победы. Uh, first of all, I want to say hello to everyone uh, and thank Showtime for this opportunity. For me, that's very important to have opportunity to fight for the world title. Uh, I believe the first time when I fought for the world title, uh, they robbed me of uh, the decision. I believe that I won that fight. In this fight, nothing is going to stop me. Uh, it doesn't matter who's against me. It could be King Kong. Just make 140 pounds and step in the ring, and I'm ready to fight. Alberto? You hear that? Alberto dice que si le ponen hasta King Kong, que con él pelearía. ¿Qué, qué piensas de eso? Oh, hasta King Kong en la película fue derrotado. ¿Por qué no ahora? Even King Kong was defeated in the movie. Why not now? <laughs> That's the reason why he's going to get defeated too. Que esa es la razón por cual te van a, a ganar. Repite, por favor. ¿Cómo, cómo perdón? No entendí, repite. Micrófono. Repite que no entendí. No, no, entendió. no entendí. Ah, dice que, que por eso te van a ganar, de todos modos te van a ganar. Oh, si es lo que piensa. If that's what he thinks that he's going to beat me, let's do it. Uh, but here, all of your victories, all but one, have ended in a knockout. Will we see one Saturday? Si tu Победы были до этого досрочные. Увидим ли мы одну, еще одну в эту субботу? После, как я сказал, после первого поражения, где меня чуть-чуть обокрали, я сказал сам себе, что больше никаких э, решений судей. Я буду стараться все свои последующие бои, не только этот, и следующие заканчивать досрочно, чтобы не оставлять все это дело на руки э, каким-то судьям, которые не, не лояльно ко мне относятся. И в well, этом же вечере я его нокаутирую. Well, that's, uh, that's my priority. I do want to uh, finish the fight and do not let it go to the judges' scorecards. Hmm. Alberto will end with this. I don't know if many of these people know this, but, you know, obviously, Hector is one of your best friends. I mean, you guys have, you've lived together, you guys have been training together. If he's victorious, all of a sudden, he becomes a world champion. You're victorious. You become a world champion. It could be a great night for Dominican boxing. And if that's the case, what does that say about Dominican boxing if you both win on Saturday night? Si este sábado tú ganas, también Héctor ganan, así como son muy buenos amigos, trabajan juntos, han vivido juntos, ¿Qué significaría esto para ustedes como dominicanos? Nosotros nos sentimos muy comprometidos con darle esa victoria a nuestra República Dominicana, a nuestro país, nuestro entrenador Marino Minaya, y sería algo grandioso, algo para la historia, y es, y es algo que va a suceder el sábado 20 por la noche. 
Es una deuda que tenemos y lo vamos a cumplir. There's no doubt we're going to win and we have to win. This Saturday is going to be a great victory for our country and for ourselves and for our coach also. So that's the co-main. Two world title fights. You certainly don't want to miss it. Now we get to the main event. And we welcome back Omar Figueroa Jr., Sergey Lipinets. Omar's been away for 15 months. Sergey been away from 16 months, the longest of his pro career. Omar, I'll start with you. And you look at his record, impressive. Former world champion, obviously at lightweight, 28-2-1, 19 knockouts. Considering the long layoff, Omar, and then all of a sudden, the focus you had coming back, solely focused on Adrian Broner. How hard, how difficult was it all of a sudden to refocus this week then on Sergey Lipinets? Yeah, I was, I was focused on being ready and prepared. And uh, well, I, first off, thank you to everyone in attendance. Thank you to Showtime. Thank you to PBC. TG Promotions, and um, well, no, I mean, I was focused on training, bettering myself, being in shape, being ready for the fight. Um, obviously, we were getting ready for a certain style, but the fight fell through, so it's just got to put, got to take out my experience, everything that I've learned throughout the years, and, and you know, apply them towards uh, Sergey, who's no pushover, as we know. He's a former world champion, and uh, we know we have our hands full with him, too. You know, I read, it said, Omar Figueroa, I guess on Saturday, I'm just going to have to take out my anger and frustration on Sergey. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean, all the troubles of camp and dealing with camp and, and the weight cut and, and everything, you know, that, that camp entails. Um, I was hoping to take it out on Broner, but... He pulled out, so Sergey is the one that's left, and I guess you know it's it's me against him. So, who else? Sergey. The interesting thing was you were already scheduled to fight on this card. So was it in the back of your mind? Did you think maybe there's a possibility I was going to face one of these guys? Was it an easier transition for you, even though it's on basically five days' notice? that you're facing Omar Figueroa. Ты уже готовился с кем-то другим драться, но у тебя э была хоть какая-то э мысль о том, что ты можешь драться или с Омар, или с э Бронером. Здравствуйте все. хочу сказать спасибо всем болельщикам, фанатам бокса. Хочу спасибо сказать большое мистеру Хейману. Спасибо Шоутайму, спасибо PBC, спасибо мистеру Спинозе, спасибо Бронеру за эту возможность, спасибо Фигаро, что он взял этот бой. Да, я должен был драться в Вандеркарт, и мы думали, что воз... все может быть, возможно, что я могу заменить, как обычно, потому что в Последний раз, когда я дрался с Джоном Малиной, в день взвешивания мне поменяли оппонента, спрашивал на левшу. Поэтому я взял тот бой тоже. И когда мне предлагают хорошие бои, хороших оппонентов, я всегда хочу драться с лучшими, показать хороший бокс для всех фанатов бокса. Поэтому я взял этот бой, и я готов. Well, BBC, Al Heyman, Showtime, Mr. Espinoza, uh, Omar, uh, also Bronner for making it happen for me. Yeah, I was getting ready. Uh, it was just uh, one of those things where you know that anything might happen. It happened to me before uh, versus John Molina, and uh, it was right, right at the last moment. So we were getting ready for whatever comes along, and... Um, we really do to just show, you know, good fight for the for the fans of boxing. That's all there is to it. Sergey, looking at your record, you're coming off the longest layoff of your career, 16 months. 
It's been three years since you've had your hand raised in victory. How important is this fight Saturday? Этот бой очень важен для меня, потому что я последний бой проиграл, как вы знаете, досрочно, в другой весовой категории. Я спускаюсь обратно в 63,5 килограмма. И это большая возможность для меня заявить, что я возвращаюсь в свой вес и хочу быть чемпионом мира. Well, I was in suspension, as you know, because of my last loss, and um, uh, it was at 147, which was not really my weight. I'm going back to 140, and I really want to become a champion of the world again and show that I'm a force to be reckoned with. Omar, will your performance Saturday determine if you'll continue in the sport? Absolutely. What would, obviously a loss, you, you'd probably be thinking about some things, but why so much? I mean, why so much on this one fight as the determining factor here? I've been fighting for 27 years now. I've been doing boxing for a very long time, and it wasn't always the nicest to me. So uh, obviously we all know about my mental health struggles and uh, you know, I, for the first time ever I got to enjoy a training camp. I got to enjoy dealing with all the, all the crap that, 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 that a training camp you know, provides. And uh, you know, I'm happy if, if this is the last fight or whatever. Uh, I'd be happy with that, but I know I'm not done. I have a lot left in the tank. I love this sport too much. I, there's nothing else that would fulfill me the same. I, I'm excited for Saturday. I'm pumped like, like I haven't been before. Like I said, I, got, I finally got to enjoy myself, and I feel like I'm going to get to enjoy Saturday night too, and I'm looking forward to a great war with the Lipinets, and uh, I'm looking forward to provide that for the fans again. I'm looking for that excitement, for that, that adrenaline rush and, and everything. Like, it, it's just, I, I love boxing too much. So there's a lot riding on this, but uh, I'm just excited for Saturday night to go out and have fun and, and provide a great fight for the fans. Mm. Sergey, for the thousands that will be in attendance, hundreds of thousands that will be watching Showtime Championship Boxing, what can you guarantee they're going to get out of Sergey Lipinets when they tune in to watch you fight on Saturday? Серёж, сотни тысяч людей будут смотреть этот бой. Showtime и все другие там в других странах. Что ты можешь прогарантировать, они увидят, когда ты зайдёшь в этот ринг? Все знают, что от меня ожидать. И все знают, что нас способны фигаров, поэтому мы не будем отступать, мы будем бегать, танцевать, мы будем драться. Это будет настоящая война. Вот что должны все знать. Я думаю, все и знают это. Everybody knows uh, what I do, and everybody knows what Omar does in the ring. Stylistically, it's going to be great scrub. Uh, we're not going to be start looking for each other. They're not, not going to be dancing around. It's going to be a straightforward fight, and uh, may the best man win. Omar, same question to you as we wrap this up. For the thousands, are going to pay money to come up in here. Hundreds of thousands that's going to be watching this fight on Showtime. What can you guarantee they're going to get when you step back into the ring on Saturday? I guarantee that I'll be happy, that I'll be looking forward to putting on a great fight, and that, you know, like Serge Gay said, <laughs> I'm just happy to get it on. Man. I'm looking forward to meeting him in the middle of the ring and let's get it on. Yeah. Lastly, uh, I know one thing you said you wanted to do is, for the people who are watching, you felt like you've been an inspiration to them. Maybe if they've had some issues, some trouble, what advice could you give them? Well, I mean, the most important thing is to reach out. You're not alone. As you can see, like, there are so many. Talk to, your, talk to your neighbor, talk to your friend, and they're going through stuff, too. You're not alone. Reach out if you feel like you need help. 
it, life's not easy. It's a constant struggle. Um, it's an everyday battle. And, uh, you know, we can only, we just got to stay strong and, and, you know, we got to, we got to rely on each other and have each other's back and just love each other. And that's, that's the best we can do. Love that. Great note to end this on. Again, four fights, folks. Showtime Championship Boxing, 8 o'clock Eastern. That's 5 o'clock Pacific time. It's the return of Omar Figueroa Jr., Sergey Lipinets in the main event. And then two world title fights. Alberto Pueyo taking off Batir Akhmedov for the vacant WBA 140-pound title. And then Roger Gutierrez, the WBA champion defending his title for the second time against the unbeaten Hector Garcia. And then we'll begin the night. Brandon Lee, unbeaten, one of the most exciting young fighters in the sport, taking on Will Madera. It should be one heck of a night here from Hollywood, Florida. Brian Custer, thanks for watching. Gentlemen, let's have a face-off.
there's nothing that gets me going as much as boxing or getting in the ring and getting punched and punching. There's something so special about that. I don't think that part of me is ever gonna die. Right hand, the counter shot knocks. It's Strada down for the second time in his career. We're trying to better myself in the ring and I think it will be the best version of myself and I'm excited to see that for myself too. Sergey Lippin yet wants to prove that he is an elite player in town. My mind is the best thing that I have about me. So now that I have it under control, I'm good. I'm ready. Stands in a right hand by Lepinets, and a fierce exchange in the center of the ring. Still expect the crazy Omar in there. Still expect for me to go in there and try to hurt somebody. It is over. We're going to get the best version of myself, and I feel like the best version of myself is going to be really, really hard to beat.